In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for GaCl3, gallium trichloride. So the first thing we'll do is count the valence electrons up. Gallium, that's in group 13, sometimes called 3A. It'll have three valence electrons. Chlorine, group 17, sometimes called 7A. Seven valence electrons, we have three of those chlorine atoms. So 3 plus 21, 24 total valence electrons for the GaCl3 Lewis structure. We'll put the least electronegative element at the center. That's the gallium. So we'll put Ga at the center, and then we'll put three chlorine atoms around it. So we have 24 total valence electrons for this GaCl3, gallium trichloride. We'll put a pair of electrons between the atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. This point we've used six. Remember, we have a total of 24. Let's complete the octets on the chlorine atoms on the outside. So at this point, all of the chlorines, they have eight valence electrons. They have an octet. The central gallium only has six, but we've used all 24 valence electrons. So we kind of have a problem here. The gallium at the center doesn't have an octet. That's okay though. Gallium is an exception like aluminum and boron. It's okay with six valence electrons. So this is the Lewis structure for GaCl3. Let's take a quick look at the molecular geometry. We have our central gallium atom, and then we have three atoms attached, and there's no lone pairs here. Let's see what that looks like. So the purple, that represents our central gallium atom. We had one, two, see how they spread out these chlorine atoms. The third chlorine atom spreads out, and we end up with this trigonal planar molecular geometry. All these elements, they're in a plane. The bond angle between the chlorine atoms would be 120 degrees. Back to our Lewis structure, and there you have it. The Lewis structure for GaCl3, the molecular geometry, and the bond angles. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.